I'm Laura Massaro, um, currently ranked four in the world with a career high of two in the world, uh, world champion and British Open champion and number one in England. Um, I started playing because both my parents played, um, Was spent a lot of time down the squash club playing when I was younger and just knocking the ball around mainly while mum and dad had a game of squash and then did some drinking in the bar after. We had, a, we had a really big rivalry going on, particularly me and Alison. We were always playing national championships together. You know, um, Jenny and I, um, Jenny was the age group up, but we played as well quite a lot and went away to a lot of European junior championships together. Um, you know, so we spent a lot of our childhood together. Um, but the senior, the senior players were always, were always amazing, um, you know, for us to look up to. You had Cassie, Cassie Jackman, Linda Charman, Fiona Geeves, Vicky Botwright, Tanya Bailey, like there were so many of them around and even before them, you know, like Suzanne Horner, Sue Wright, all of the ones that you sort of, you just looked up to. And when I got old enough to be able to come to play, to be able to play on squads with them, there was always just this, you know, real excitement around being able to come to a senior squad and come to be able to get into routines and be around them and it was all always a bit nervous, but, you know, and then you get to know them a bit better and. That was all like on, on just right on the cusp of going full time and playing on the tour, and um, you know it was it was re they're really fond memories to look back on. And Jenny and Alison and Sarah Kipax and Tina Ricks, the five of us, we all went to um, the World Juniors together at under 19 in Penang, um, and we we beat Malaysia in the final, which at the time was just absolutely huge. It was a, it was a two and a half week trip of an individual and a team event, and. Um, obviously, same age group as Nicole David, so it was you know she was playing for Malaysia in her hometown, and um, it sort of felt for me like a bit of a, a, a weird omen going back to play the World Championships in Penang, just gone the year when I won the World Championships because um, I was playing in the deciding rubber um, in that Junior World Team Championship. So Jenny had lost to Nicole, and Alison had won her string at three, and I was playing um, Trisha Chu at two. And I was 2-0 down and 7-2 down with the old um, you know, English scoring and came back to win it 3-2. And it was just crazy. Like it, The whole night was, was mental because they were right on the cusp of just winning, winning the world team title. And I came back to win it. So it seemed, it seemed like it was all meant to be when I saved match balls against Wee Wern again in the quarterfinal of the world championships. It was like her hometown. And when that, I got through that match, it was just like it was almost meant to be. Um, so they're like, you know, really good memories looking back from junior career and, and taking those memories into senior career and hopefully helping me achieve what I did at the World Championships. Um, I'd definitely say there was a turning point in my career, I guess, um, that, was, that was also pretty hard to take. I think it was um, 2010 World Championships in Sharm El Sheikh. Um, I'd gone out there, I think I was ranked about maybe, maybe around eight in the world at the time. And, um, I'd actually played Camille in the last 16 of the World Championships, so obviously knowing how good Camille is now, but at the time she was she's younger than me, and she although she was a dangerous player, it was it was a bit of a disappointing loss to lose to her, and in the last 16 of the World Championships, and to be you know top eight, and you know wanting to be in with a chance of making quarters, semis of those big events, if not winning them at that point, and um, yeah, just. Maybe maybe on paper people don't look back at that and they just think oh I, you know I had a bad week but for me it was it was almost the turning point in my career I think um, losing that match made me go away and really think about how I was going to approach my squash from that point going forward um, you know we've talked a lot talked about the um, the rivalry between Jenny and Alison and growing growing up together and they were all, they were pushing on and they had such a good early early part of their senior career they got up the ranking so much quicker than I did. And um, there was always that rivalry of, of wanting to achieve what they've achieved, and I'm sure you know they they want to they want to achieve some of the things that I've achieved. And I genuinely, I, I certainly believe that I wouldn't be the player I, w I am if it wasn't for them. And maybe they they think the same that, that I'm better because we've had that rivalry. And so looking back on that event and seeing them them get further, and you know having really good 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 results at the time, um, I came home and really reassessed where I wanted to be, how I was going to approach my squash physically, mentally, um, everything. It was, it was a pretty low time, I feel like, looking back, you know, real, like, there was a lot of tears after that tournament and a lot of um, uh, sort of 
you know, reflecting and try real making dis decision time for the future going forward. But I, I, I firmly believe that if you don't go through those tough times, then um, you sort of don't come through the other side and, and make the best of opportunities that come.